بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم بیک لیڈیز اینڈ جنرلمن وی آر آن آر جرنی آف گڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ لاسٹ ٹائم وی بیسکلی کورڈ ان ٹو سیشنس دی آبلیگیشن ٹو امپلائیز اینڈ دے ویری انٹرسٹنگ بیکاز وی لک ایٹ دا ڈفرینٹ پرسپیکٹیوز اینڈ ایسپیکٹس آف ہاؤ دا کمپنی شوڈ انٹرفیس ود دی امپلائی ٹو انشور دیٹ دی امپلائی کین ڈو اٹس بیسٹ ان دا ٹرمز آف پرفارمنس پروڈکٹیوٹی پروفیٹیبلٹی اینڈ مارکیٹ شیئر اینڈ ان آل آف دیٹ انڈیور دے آر آلسو given a comfortable enabling and a conducive environment. Now we are going to go on to ladies and gentlemen, the third most important stakeholder and that is obligation to customers. Now without customers, especially external customers, because employees are internal customers, but without external customers, how will the company run? So it's very important that there are loyal and sustainable customers of any organization. And that again is extremely important in the context of ensuring that the organization has the resources to properly run and also take care of its employees and its other stakeholders. Now, when we are talking about obligation to customers, then a very important aspect is quality of products and services. Now, when we talk about quality of products and services, the company should be committed to supply goods and services of the highest quality standards, efficient after service, consistent with the requirements of the customers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, When we are looking at this, then quality basically means that it should be sustainable. So if today I am producing uh, a good t-shirt, then one year ahead I should be producing a good t-shirt. Five years ahead I should be producing good t-shirt. Those t-shirts which are comfortable, those t-shirts which have standardized sizes, those t-shirts which have good designs, those t-shirts which have reliable, reliable products on it. So That is the quality. And again, if you are buying a car, for example, then the quality of the car is extremely important. You don't want a car which is going to break down. So the quality of products and services has to be consistent, has to be the best possible that can be given within, within the rate that is provided. And then there should also be an element of after-sales service which are consistent with the requirements of the customer. So if something goes wrong, then the company is obligated to ensure that they are solving the problem of the customer. And that leads to, ladies and gentlemen, repeat customers. That leads to what we call word of mouth advertisement. That leads to more profits and more revenues for the organization. And that is very, very important that we look at the quality. The quality standards of a company's good and services should not only meet national standards, but should also meet international standards. Because now we live in a palm world. We're not living in a global world anymore. We're living in a palm world. The whole world is in the palm. In your, la in your, in your mobile phone, you have access to everything. And now post-COVID especially, shopping, which used to be very random and very scarce on the line, now people uh, are just sitting in their homes and ordering everything. I mean, you can order anything from anywhere in the world and it will be delivered to your doorstep. And again, the payment methodology has also been Uh, has also been simplified and you can just do it on delivery. So things have dynamically changed and therefore it is very important that you're not only meeting national requirements or national demands, but you're cre creating products or services which would actually be demanded or uh, acquired by international uh, clients or customers around the world. And that is very, very important, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can expand on your market and also, also ensure that Uh, your profitability or your sales do not increase. And that is extremely important. And then another aspect is that you cannot have exuberant or you cannot have inflated prices. The products have to be at affordable prices and one must abstain from profiteering and fattening uh, on the miseries of the poor consumers. And that is not acceptable. And again, what we see is that those corporations who have that type of tendency, they always lose their customers in the long run or their Uh, competition tends to fill the gap and then they come in and therefore they lose a huge market share. So the best way forward is to maintain sustainable, good quality products or services and have affordable prices uh, for them. And that would ensure that the customer is facilitated and would become a repeat buyer in whatever the organization is producing or providing as a service. And that is very, very uh, important. Uh, upgradation of companies' expertise, technology, and skills of manpower to cut down costs. And that, again, should not create a scarcity which would make undue profits. 
this is also very important that again uh, one organization should or corporate entity should always be upscaling its things should always be trying to move forward with the most modern technologies and thereby provide uh, better products and better services to its clients so that is very important and that would lead to an unwavering commitment to customer satisfaction that is very very important and good organizations usually have customer satisfaction cells they have customer satisfaction uans they have customer satisfaction desks they have people who respond to the queries of the customers or do the complaints of the customer so when we are looking at it companies should be fully committed to satisfy their customers and earn their goodwill to stay long in the business they should respect in letter and spirit warranties and guarantees given on their products and call back from markets goods found to be substandard or harmful and replace them with good ones so again it is good business philosophy to ensure that complaints are addressed that complaints of products are replaced and most importantly that the customer feels through better services that the customer is important and the company is responding and that leads to more customers and more repeat clients for any organization so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen this basically was about the obligation of the company to its different uh, customers